Welcome to part four of this series following Rex Fendick around Normandy during his time as a, a can loan officer in command of number one platoon, A Company, 2nd Battalion Middlesex Regiment, as part of 3rd Division. Hopefully you have a copy of the book or have been encouraged to order one from us. It's been a true honour to work with Rex's son Reg on preparing this hardback reprint with some rescanned photos and maps as well as some new material. The visit to Normandy had purpose and I hope you've enjoyed following the journey. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last part, part four, and we'll wrap up with the end of Operation Goodwood and the advance into Truon. So after three or four days fighting on the Bavon Ridge here, uh, they had a couple of days rest out of line. And um, but you know they they one of the things about machine gun battalions is they're able to exchange companies and platoons within the units quite easily, uh, and aren't beholden to the units, the infantry battalion units that may be holding a position. So they would exchange. They they had a couple of days rest, but then they um, moved down and moved south a little bit further after those days in to support the king's own scottish borderers so they relieved number three platoon and they were in this area to the west of truon uh, and all around what was the railway line so you can see this line here this was the railway line into truon and i think we said oh, that's where they they set up their platoon headquarters in an orchard uh, just off of that railway line and we went round into this area as much as we possibly could. We couldn't get down into this location here, although it seems that Rex did back in the uh, 50s and 60s, number three platoon, gun position number one in the hedgerow, um, but along the railway line in this area here. And it looks like they were firing in the generally in a southeasterly direction, or certainly covering that area. So we went up and along the railway line, found gun position number two rex had his camera with him yeah we're, we're blessed in this book that rex had his camera all of the time so we get lots of photos that have never been seen elsewhere um we get some photos that have been seen in the battalion history uh because rex was involved in writing that in 1946 with uh Mobley. uh but and then some of that gets carried up into the third division works as well so but generally uh, the vast majority and certainly the machine gun related photos are not something that's been seen before. So number one lower gun position there is a photo that we've got. You can see the type of position they're in. They're in a direct fire position uh, working very nicely covering the infantry. Um, we think that as I said that is pointing uh, south uh, or maybe southeast uh, across these fields here from the looks of it. Uh, and then further back, they had their headquarters in the orchard. So quite a remarkable position for them to be in and, um, you know, supporting King's Own Scottish Borderers, as we said. This was uh, the last uh, position that they had in Normandy, um, or had in this area of Normandy, sorry. Uh, well, once they sort of worked through here, they uh, went off to Vier. We weren't able to travel any further uh, down into Via on this occasion, but hopefully it's something we'll do in the future. You know, it was when basically three div were replaced by or handed over to 51st Highland Division and moved back to colville saint for a few days and then went down uh, south in, in to take over that different sector. So you know, maybe we'll be able to expand this series um, and follow a can loan officer much further because the his excerpts as they go into... Belgium, Holland, and then into Germany. Uh, you know, his, his accounts of that are are superb. So, and something that I haven't you know, followed in the past. I've been to Normandy a few times now. I've been to Holland. I know some of the wider locations, but to follow a specific journey will be quite something. So, please do, uh, please do purchase a copy of the book to help enable that. Um, you know, the income from all of these books does go into the association. And if you'd like to support us further, please do sign up and become one of our patrons. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.